This is a very special time for me, Ina. Thank you. I feel like I'm sitting with my auntie learning how to do tea bye bye. Yes. So I, I feel very connected to the island and, and thank you for this time. Thank you, Catherine. Well, this I'm doing a blanket stitch. If you are a learner and would like to do something like this, this is the basic you 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 learn first only because once you know this stitch you can know any other stitch girl okay so your blanket stitch yes blanket stitch first see how i'm doing you wrapping it twice and it's pulling it tight then off you go and the trick here is be nice to your cotton, your needle, and your cotton. They'll do all the work for you. I noticed, Ina, when you were threading your cotton, you pulled the cotton out, doubled it over, and made sure... Match. That, yeah, I like that. So the same amount of blue went with the same amount of blue. Yes. So if you are sewing, you make sure this white here... And white the starting because when you come back to join it again yeah you will never see the join okay and another thing is because some when they when they are um, okay put it this way when they finish doing their tea wave never knots at the back I'll show you that little bit trick Okay, so what you, you do is you always stop in the front when your cotton is finished you go back three times like this once because oh, yeah. two or three you will never get those cottons out three yeah. then you cut up the top here to start off again you not here. And then you start all over again. Okay, there you are. From underneath there. Oh, yeah. Ina, that's a great trick. An awesome tip. Yes, that's the catch. It, so you can have a beautiful... Nice clean tea vave at the back. If I see a tea vave, my first attention is to look at the back. Everybody knows the best tea vavas. Yep, have a look at the back. Now we know why. Ina, can I ask you about the different um, spellings of the different spellings of T V I V I? Okay. T I F A I F A I and T I V A I V A I. With with, I prefer T V I V I, the V A I. But it doesn't stop them saying what they like. But for example, Catherine. Because mums are papa, mm. it's how they say it. Mm. So how they like it. Mm. And uh, with the F, we don't have an F, but that's the Tahitian, Tahitian way. pronouncing of the Tiba way. Mm. To be honest with you, once you know this stitch, Whoa, you can create your own stitch. So the basic, always finish a cushion out of this stitch before going on a big tea way. Yeah. Start can you see small. the cotton? Cotton's going lighter to dark. Yeah. What is your recommendations on choosing your colour for your, your colour of the stitching, the cotton. <coughs> because it's your own tea vave. It's your own colours. You do what you feel works yes, for you. Works for you. It, it, 
Because when I was in New Zealand, I saw the trees. Their leaves not green only, like us here. Mm. These red leaves, these brown leaves. So if you go natural, you follow those colours. But Ina, there's a real um, knack in putting the colours together. I mean, you do it so effortlessly and so simply, like it's second nature for you. But is that something you've learned or is that something you just know? Um, I think it's inside each person what colour suits them. Uh, if you tell me, you know, I like yellow, but myself saying, no, I don't want yellow. So stick to what your to nature what you is like. telling you. Mm. I follow nature. And I can go in the middle there too, eh? That's the two stitch then. Two stitch. Should we do the two stitch next? Yeah. Thank you so much for that, Ina. Oh. We'll, we'll um wrap this one up on what's this, the blanket stitch? This is the blanket stitch. Okay, it won't take a minute. I'll do the other stitch. The further stitch. That's for the middle of the the leaves. So you, are you finishing that off by going back three like you showed us yes. before? Yes, so I can start on the other one. It doesn't mean you're going to do it like this, but because I'm showing. So with a leaf, okay, the veins coming around there somewhere. So because, because I'm going inside here. That's to hide it. So this is the interior, the vein of the leaf. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? I love it. And what's that stitch called? Vein stitch. Vein That's stitch. that one there. Yep. That's the finished one. And this stitch here is buttonhole. It depends how you want it. Is the buttonhole one difficult to do? No. They're all easy. Once you know these stitches, you can do anything. Any stitch. So it becomes your own stitch. I love it. It's the whole idea. You create something that it's coming from your own nature. Thank you, you so much. You don't have to copy. You don't have to copy anybody's stitch. <laughs> Again, thank you for thank coming. You.